act. What Austin's mayor is calling an AI generated call into a council meeting last week is raising some security concerns. The AI generated voice made several comments, even weighing in on the conflict in the Middle East. Our Jayla Washington explains how it's led to an investigation to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. And to City. Mimi Stiles watches Austin City Council meetings from home often. We have one remote speaker. But didn't land. expect what this speaker would say last Thursday. My name is Robin Land, and I'm a proud Christian Zionist. I want to congratulate everyone here on the election of President Trump, a true friend of Israel. This wasn't May the part that Mayor shocked her. And what if Israel has to become a democracy where the Arabs have equal rights? I mean, just imagine if they were able to vote. It sounded like a robot. By the time the AI voice was done speaking. Martin Luther King never broke the rules. Thank you, Mayor Watson. Mayor Kirk Watson and council seemingly also skeptical of whether the person on the other end of the call was real. Hope to see you someday. <laughs> and after, Stiles reached out to the city with her concerns. Concerns? about privacy and accountability and security. Watson posted this message to council on Sunday saying they discussed the need to immediately get to the bottom of how this happened. When we think about what can be done, um, pushing towards transparency is something that's really important for our use of AI in the public sphere. It's uncharted territory. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. And that call also pushed for more AI use. It's something else Styles found concerning, leading her to analyze data from that phone call. She says she has been in contact with the city as they work to address what happened.